What is going on, everybody? So, as I'm winding down with all the films in 2022 I wanted to see, there was a film that was released towards the tail end of December that I was really excited about when it first got announced. And this isn't a traditional film. This is much more of like a documentary slash like journalism piece. But I was really excited to see this one get made because I'm a really big fan of Andrew Callahan, who uh, the documentary uh, centers around his journalism. I love Tim and Eric, and they produced this documentary. Jonah Hill produced this documentary, and A24 put their name on it. And I was really excited about that, that they gave Andrew Callahan the ability to have a little bit more of a budget to do the types of things that he does. And so I'm really looking forward to talking about it today. And what I'm going to be discussing is his documentary called This Place Rules. This Place Rules is directed by Andrew Callahan. Acclaimed for his unfiltered reporting and deadpan humor, Andrew Callahan brings his gonzo style reporting to the undercurrents that led to the January 6th Capitol riots. As one of the best known and hardest working journalists of his generation, the 25 year old ventures on a wild RV journey through America to take the pulse of a divided nation. So if you aren't familiar with Andrew Callahan, Andrew Callahan started to get really big on YouTube for his series called All Gas No Breaks, where he'd go around and interview people with like on the street journalism where he doesn't antagonize people. He doesn't like ask them stupid questions. He really just is a, has a great job of holding his composure and letting people kind of expose the entirety of themselves in a way that is incredibly impressive. It takes a lot of talent to be able to hold your composure, especially when like lunatics are just spewing garbage in your face. Like it's it's gotta be just insane. So all gas, no breaks, there was this whole thing where he had to fight for the name. He ended up changing the name to Channel 5 and he's been doing it for a while now. And what he's gotten really popular for is during the Trump presidency, he went to a lot of Trump rallies and interviewed a lot of crazy right-wing conservatives and got some really incredible material out of that he also just goes to like music festivals he went to like a big NASCAR event in Orlando a couple of times these uh, bikers that drive across the United States he's done all different kinds of really wild interviews including actually interviewing Alex Jones in this film and in another video that he released on YouTube not too long ago. So I was really interested when this was announced what of his material they would explore. And so what they chose to land on is this film focuses on all of the events during the Trump and Biden election leading up to the January 6th riots. And so there's a lot of him in Washington, D.C., interviewing people on the ground about their thoughts about the election, getting people's opinions on the election and the crazy right-wingers who thought the election was rigged. Uh, you also have interviews with the Proud Boy group that uh, are super fascinating to watch. Really interesting to see how those guys present themselves and how they think they're rebranding their image or like that they're just like a they, there's this really goofy editing moment where they constantly say oh we're just a cigar and drinking club but then the guy says that he never drinks and it's just it's absolutely absurd and then you have interviews with uh families uh there's like a really incredible scene where he interviews this family in Georgia who like these parents have brainwashed their kids into believing every QAnon conspiracy theory and you also have uh, him interviewing these people in Atlanta that live in these lower income uh, housing developments where you know as far as the political landscape is concerned they're less concerned with that and more concerned about just getting out of the shitty environment that they live in and what this is as a whole is it's really exploring the sort of turmoil between our country and how you know as far as like right wing and left wing is concerned back in the day we used to be able to come to a common ground normally enough to where things wouldn't blow out of control but because of the Donald Trump presidency and just how insane he was and the things that he was willing to do and the fact that he was able to convince around half of the population that the election was rigged solely because he said so and making up like wild accusations about fraud and mail-in mail ballots and stuff. It's just insane 
that a, a person who is holding the most powerful office in the United States of America would go out of their way to try to like just stir up the general population. And then Andrew looks at, which I'm really impressed with, because Andrew is someone who is incredibly liberal minded, but he's someone that's not afraid to criticize the liberal media, which I think a lot of people, even some of the best liberal political commentators are afraid to go after liberal media and he just went on cnn recently and just tore them apart saying like hey cnn is equally to blame as fox news for stirring up like pandemonium and this and people scaring people telling people that things are the worst of, of the worst and it's really fascinating because the media throughout the years has always been a part of making things seem way worse to keep that fear factor through the roof to, to society and i thought that was a really interesting perspective and Andrew does such a great job with that I was really impressed during uh, all the events during COVID when he you know because normally he wears like a suit and he gets really goofy uh, in a lot of his interviews but he did do some really incredible journalism during the Black Lives Matter protest just interviewing people that were uh, there during the riots on the streets and saying like, hey, people are mad, they're upset, like there's no more of this quiet, peaceful resistance, like we're over it. And ca can you really get upset by that? No, because we've lived in a, in a space in an area for so long that is so embedded in racism. Unarmed black male can't walk down the street without being harassed by police officers and possibly killed. And it's just a really insane world that we live in. And I think Andrew does a phenomenal job of capturing just the absolute lunacy of a lot of these conspiracy theories and what they can do to people. Like he interviews this guy who does all these wild conspiracy theories online. He obviously interviews Alex Jones, who is like the biggest psychopath I've ever seen. Like watching him in these interviews just try to justify his thought processes and then trying to say that he would have nothing to do with uh, with what happened on January 6th, even though like his verbiage and the way that he presents himself is in a very manipulative manner, a way that it would be impossible to see him not pushing some of these lunatics over the edge. Because when you have people who are spending countless hours on the internet reading these wild conspiracy theories that have no validity to them whatsoever, and they follow these people like Alex Jones or that leader of the Proud Boys or any of these right-wing conservatives, all they have to do is say one thing to push them over the edge to do something crazy. And so this documentary looks at all of that through a really fascinating lens. And I absolutely loved this. I thought it was so well put together. I thought it was such a fascinating piece cap capturing a, uh, a certain time in society. And I really hope that Andrew gets more of an opportunity to make documentary pieces like this. I love what he does on YouTube, but I think it'll be so cool if he can do a lot more of stuff like this. And if you haven't seen this yet it's on hbo max and you should go check it out right now so have you seen this place rules did you love it did you hate it leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought this was the best documentary i watched from 2022 and it's just absolutely incredible everyone needs to see it as always if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel it helps set me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for i'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future and as always everyone thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day